Let me ask you this first. Uh, do you remember uh, anything about Building 7? Well, I made a documentary a couple of years later. Which was about the battle between Larry Silverstein, who owned the buildings, and um, um, Danny Lieberskin, the architect who was hired to kind of re-sculpt with the idea of building this this other tower. And right. uh, so I, I kind of know all about Seven. I know all about everything to do. I know every little last detail about all of that. Do you? Yeah. Immediately afterwards, people were phoning me up and interviewing me about what I thought about 9-11. You know. Really? Yeah, Immediately afterwards? Day. Yeah, well, within 24 hours I was giving interviews. Why? I don't know. Why uh, you? Because I'm a kind of pundit. So you had interviewed Silverstein yourself? Yeah. Did you ask him what he meant by pull it? No. Do you know what I'm talking no. about? Where they had a quote, and I'll show it to you, from Phil Silverstein uh, that indicated that, uh, that Building 7 came down from a controlled demolition. I mean, he said, um, why don't I just show it to you? Well, I think that's correct, yeah. yeah. It, it, you think it is correct? Yeah. That it came down from a controlled demolition? Yeah. What does that mean to you in terms of who, who was behind 9-11? Does it mean anything? Not in itself, no. Yeah. It was like six hours or so after the towers came. How could, they, why, how could they do it and why would they do it? Well, they would do it in order to prevent it falling in some wrong direction and damaging some other buildings, I guess. Well, it does. It makes sense if they were trying to preserve the, the buildings next to it. There's Building 7, right? Uh -huh. um, this happened at 5.20 in the afternoon. I'll turn this. Um, yeah, and as you say, there, here's, here's the damage. The, the problem with Building 7 was two fires. I mean, there was smoke coming out the other side of the building, but this building collapsed two fires, that's it, mm -hmm. as far as uh, photographic evidence goes, two fires, and there's a controlled demolition, and, you know, to me, there's, it's, it's, to even think that it wasn't a controlled demolition is ridiculous, when you consider how skyscrapers are made, they, they can't fall straight down, um, unless you, unless, um, ex unless all the, the support columns are cut at the same moment, otherwise it's going to go one way or the other, right, like you said. Did you ever see this footage before? Imagine you, who was a pundit, they never showed it, you never saw it. How could that be? You're in agreement that, it, that it's a controlled de demolition. You're just not so sure, um, I don't know which one, oh, here it is. You're just not so sure, um, like, who was responsible and why, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, the fact that the U.S. government <laughs> denies that it was a controlled demolition, uh, right there, you, you know, somebody that's gonna cover up the truth you know, usually they're involved in the crime. Um, wouldn't you say, isn't that a safe bet? Let's see if I, here he goes, here we go. Maybe the smartest thing to do is, is pull it. Uh, and they made that decision to pull. And we watched the building collapse. We've had such terrible loss of life. I'm pretty sure that Silverstein told me that they'd had to demolish it, or somebody, or someone from the Port Authority maybe told me yeah. that they'd had to demolish it because it was a risk to the other buildings around it. So they demolished it a few hours after the towers came down. Do you see my logic here though, that that makes no sense? No, I don't. Now, doesn't that sort of make you wonder if the other two were done the same way? Well, it hasn't until now, but I'm prepared to consider that possibility. Just the fact that you don't know about it shows the only way to sum it up is that we're living in an Orwellian world oh, where well, history, where, yeah, but worse than you think. Yeah. However yeah. bad you think it is, it's way worse mm -hmm. because we're talking about huge events that shaped the world as we know it since 9-11 that nobody knows the truth. Nobody is even given the chance to think about the truth. Hypothetically, yeah. if it were an in, if it was an inside job. Hypothetically, yeah. Totally. And if and if it's yeah. been hidden from us to this degree for the last nine years that you don't you haven't even thought about it in terms of an inside job. Yeah. I mean, you know, or, well, you Orwell know, couldn't have made this up. No, absolutely. And I'm a big fan of Orwell. Yeah. But so um, any evidence like that that you that you mentioned to me, I can I can kind of check it out, ask experts.
Boy, I got a lot of stuff. You know, confirm facts or disconfirm facts or whatever. Yeah. But here's the first thing you got to check, and it's important. Check if there's any logic or physical possibility that they would have that they would have somehow rigged it that day. Oh, that is the first thing I'm going to check. It was so set up I can way ahead of okay. time. That I can find out about in no trouble at all. Please do. Because I have a very good friend who became a friend during the <coughs> filming. Right. Who was hired to put wind turbines on top of the new tower once it was built. Uh-huh. So he's a structural engineer. And, um, and he's pretty... You, you haven't talked to him about this? No, but I will do. He he's lives in London. He's a friend. So... Uh I will, I will be able to ask those questions, you know, from somebody as, about as close as you can get to the, the that, horse's mouth. That's great. And obviously, I'll be back to you. Please, get, and please get This conversation back to isn't going to stop today. We sure. No, no. This and is I the know, beginning. And I know you, you want to, we'll start your This is your the beginning thing. of a conversation, yeah. Right. I kind of know all about Seven, I know all about everything. I know every little last detail about all of that. Do you? Yeah, because I'm a kind of pundit. You had interviewed Silverstein yourself? Yeah. That it came down from a controlled demolition? Yeah. Silverstein told me that they'd had to demolish it. Do you see my logic here though, that that makes no sense? No, I don't. And I'm a big fan of Orwell. Yeah.